Hey guys, it's Cass. Welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. We are jumping in for the fourth episode. To pick up where we left off, we just finished the Diluted Depths, right? Yes. <laughs> I've been watching so many people and trying to support them on Twitch playing through this game, so to be honest, my mind's a little all over the place with different parts of the game, trying to support people, help them, just hang out with people. Um, yeah, basically just support people, but I, I guess, surprise, you're seeing this on a Friday instead of a Monday. Like I said, I would be dropping them all on Mondays. However, I bought myself a Switch and <laughs> we have one, but this one will be dedicated simply for me and game capturing. I want to get into playing a lot of Mario content because he's some of my favorites. Yoshi, Luigi, across the board, and it's been a minute since I've played a lot of those games as well. So we will be jumping into Mario Mondays, and thus Alice and any indie related games, at least for the foreseeable future, will be dropping on Fridays. So we're going to get through all of Alice before we jump into another one. I think the next one will probably probably be The Last Campfire, but I'm uncertain. I've got a few other video ideas we might sprinkle in there, but without further ado, here is Alice on a Friday, so two Alice videos in one week. It will be coming out on Fridays every week now, and then we will be jumping into Mario Mondays. So let's get into the next section. And we left off right here. <laughs> but... Yeah, let's see what let's see what lies ahead. I can't remember exactly, to be honest. They look kind of creepy. The interesting um little set up there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be glad to shake your hand, sir. Considering the nature of the goods on offer, it seems more than generous. You do know the way to a girl's heart, don't you? Oof. We'll pass on that. I believe we are hunting down our bunny. Yes? Who is it? Alice Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. Is it not letting me? Okay. <laughs> oh, I think it's meant for the thing to the left. The ancient scroll is parchment and the characters are drawn in Indian ink, which Radcliffe claims the Chinese invented eons ago by mixing soot, lamp oil, gelatin of donkey skin, and musk. He does know some remarkable things. If you want to call it that. I have no memory of anything in this area, so... I know what world we're going into, <laughs> just based on the surroundings. I don't know how to say that one. I'm gonna butcher that. Something porcelain, Mr. Radcliffe says, is the Ming Dynasty's finest. Beautiful shapes, best colors, and most prized decorations. Uh, there he is. There's our bunny! You do have my rabbit. Rabbit. Forgotten your Excuse manners. Me. What else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery. 
I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. And I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. So those are his feelings. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. All movables and effects are gone. Nothing but dust stains and the smell of tobacco. No sign of the coroner's report or my rabbit either. Damn him. No, our rabbit. Yeah, I mean, if you compare this to how it looked just before, quite different, is it? So we go out this way. I just want to double check that there isn't anything else anywhere else. Doesn't seem to be the case, but if you're familiar with me, I like to peek around a bit. into the cold. It seems like a real um, loss of time makes you curious what was clearly a hallucination. Have we actually left Wonderland or are we still there? Looking a little sus, isn't it? Just a little suspicious. Seems we have not left after all. This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less. And if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. Bale of Doom. He'll just attack everything for me. I'll take that too. Woo! Hey, look at you. I was almost a little late on that one.
Got him. Yeah, baby. So we are in the Vale of Doom. And you can see our, um... Wonderland is slipping just a little bit here. And... Caterpillar. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A single step off London Bridge could end my journey. Failure as your epitaph. Uh, I'd hoped you were more courageous. He's like, I'm not sure where we go, but this way seems to be the way. Lots of moving bits. Oh jeez. <laughs> what would have been the other way though? Makes me curious as to which way is the right way to go. Got stuff spawning over there. I'm not sure if that would have gotten me anywhere any better. Thank you for the teeth, gentlemen. Vaporous ledge only appears as flimsy and insubstantial as your confidence. It will hold you, trust me. Where do we go? Leave just this way. We missed a memory. That might have been something different. Not to backtrack, but I would like to collect all the bottles. Oh, we almost um, went just a little too far there. like this. I think that's one thing that always gets a little bit difficult in this game. Um, it's trying to figure out which way is the right way to go. But as we can see, this is just meant to be like the secret with the bottle. Looks like something was spawning on here with me. burning yourself, you know that, right? <laughs> I don't want to touch that liquid that will burn me. I keep feeling like I'm going to be able to get in on some of these gears along the wall, but I don't think so. A feeling well, we will um, be fighting something here. It's a thought. Is there anything to interact with? 
this looks like something where we'll be fighting. <laughs> Look, it's a tea table. Oh, 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 I know what this is. We're gonna battle because here is our last, last goodie, last weapon. Our teapot cannon. You have just obtained the Mad Hatter Manufacturing Ink teapot cannon. Never seen before. Throw an instant tea party. It will be a blast. Shoots devastating tea grenades. Clock face pressure meter. Automatic steam cap, cap exhaust. Exhaust cap. Patented. <laughs> Hatter's Domain Wonderland. The teapot cannon is highly effective against groups of enemies. The longer a shot is charged, the larger the blast radius will be. The teapot cannon can be used to demolish weak surfaces at range. So we have not only the bomb, the um, horse, jockey, the horse? I can't remember the proper name of the horse. And now the teapot cannon. Switch between pepper grinder and teapot cannon by using mouse scroll up or down. So I, again, am playing with a controller. Um, let's see what it ends up being. Ah. Touch me! Gross, gross, gross! <laughs> to be honest, it, um, it's not my favorite. Oh my goodness. Stay away from it grabbing me. No! No, it's so gross. Let go. Gross, gross, gross! <sighs> I feel like I can't tell what he's doing. Run away, run away! Gross, gross! I love when there's different ways for me to hide. Oh my god, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Run away. Oh, that's right. what you were doing. I'm getting burned. I can't get away fast enough. In when you fight him at later times, um, when you fight him at different times, um, in a lot of different lobbies, 
you are able to get away um, a lot faster. And you have more places to hide. I don't really want to go into hysteria, but it keeps having me roll back into him. Oh my goodness. defeat you. <laughs> so that was a bit of a chaotic mess. I don't love the teapot cannon. Hobby horse, that's what it's called. Made by the Mad Hatter, the tea cannon shoots tea grenades with large just really value my pepper grinder more. I think we're gonna do it. I have 63 teeth left. To me, it was worth it. I used that and have used that significantly so much more. Um, just in playthrough, general, general playthrough, I guess. It's always been like much more of my go-to. gross the faces are. But who knows, it might be time that I need to just readjust ways that I'm playing. Um, as you saw, he kind of just handed me my butt there a little bit. It says teeth, but then it's not giving me any. A caterpillar! I'm kind of surprised it doesn't seem like there's as many places to go into. Uh, eventually, that will be something I believe I could go into, but right now I cannot. Let's see what I need to take out before we can do that. I'm devastated. Look what's become of my beautiful valley. All yes. things change in the fullness of time, often not for better. Here, little wormy things coming after me. It doesn't seem to be like there's much more that we can really interact with. Oh, but this is open now. Memory! Hold on, let's get this first. Nothing. Catastrophe may strike even the best regulated families, Mr. Of course, one family's disaster may be another family's opportunity. And the same goes for a surviving family member. Those huge guys make these guys seem really not that big of a deal, huh? throw stuff at me, maybe? Get along better with that. I think it actually wants me to shoot him with the key cannon thing. I just don't. It's just not my favorite um, one to use. I really prefer my pepper grinder the most. Very nice. Worth it. 
it to me. Worth the upgrade. Nothing else here, right? So I wonder if I'll be able to interact with these kind of after the fact of whenever I take out whatever is causing battle music still. I don't believe it's anything below us, but I could be wrong. step on that. No, as I say, maybe this isn't the one that's bad, but this one burns me. <laughs> See if I can break. Sounds like a lot of stuff is still happening around me, but let's go break this. Maybe this will have some teeth. Oh, nothing. I don't think I'm missing anything up there. Ah, oh, snout! I didn't even see that because I didn't hear him. Hey, Snouty. Yay. I'm glad I double checked that. Doesn't seem like a whole lot in here, but I will still take everything that possibly gets me more teeth, even though those seem like those are becoming significantly more scarce for some reason. I should be able to make it up this, right? Right? Don't need it to heal currently really glad that I double checked this because this will be another one over here. Break these first before we go through. And in we go. Take a swig of water real quick. Hopefully if I have time, I can't remember which one this is. Oh, Alice, we do need this. We welcome the arrival of a phantom at sunset, only to rue its departure at sunrise. What is it? Hope, dreams, mayflies, night flocks. Phantom at sunset, only to rue its departure at sunrise. Dreams. Is my answer? Right <laughs> Work on getting another flower. Once we came. This one, this level really makes it seem like Wonderland really, really has kind of really decayed. <laughs> Not sure what kind of jump that was there. But onward we go. Anything good over here we're missing? Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
have a feeling I'll fight something here. Use a teapot cannon to range break a wall. I assume that's because I can't, um, like it has to be broken in order to get through. But I want to go get this over here first before we continue that way. As we can see, this is extra goodies! See, it seems like I'm not getting as much tea. No! Golden bottle, I will absolutely take it. Okay, now. prefer to take you. Okay, so we're still with the fight. Oh. There is no way you were gonna get me on that. No, sir. Okay, well we don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, oh, I didn't see the guys in the air. for you. <laughs> more worth it to me to have upgraded upgraded the right tool. I know that the teapot cannon works a lot better for a lot of the enemies, but I just don't like it. Truth be told. And our poor old, what was it, the looking glass line originally? Onward! Anything else? No goodies hidden around over here? Nope, just a few things that want to fight me. Oh, get out! 
of Alice. Please go. There's like less and less um like hidden secrets, I guess. Can hear stuff spawning. Oh. Bye. So we want to go. Thing is, is I should hopefully be able to get over there. That's the hope. That way, I'm not just um, leaving behind extra secrets. Hey, man. I'll be able to get back up over there. Hmm. I hope so. Lots of things going on over here. Okay, so we see stuff happening. I maybe shouldn't have jumped down. I think we'll be okay, hopefully. Oops. I was actually planning to use that, but you know. I hear squishies. Ah. Hi. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> to get back towards that stuff over here so I think I'm gonna go this way that way I gotta shoot that thing sometimes I feel like the game just gives you too many options got everything else. Maybe there's a basket up there. I just wouldn't know any other way to get to it, I guess. The sight, the stink, the sinister sound. What have you imagined, Alice? It's 
worth running over here real quick, getting this, and jumping out. Okay, there's another guy. be getting too close to me. We don't like it. We run away. This is so much nicer because you can't get me and I can protect myself. No. I don't want to play your game. <laughs> I will completely use things to my advantage here. Taking it. Let me unfocus. I'm not sure what that guy. Look at the guy on the ground. <laughs> oh, not fair. Disagree. Even though I'm the one cheeking it. The game unfortunately crashed. I will be back with you guys at this point if I can get it to come back up. Okay, so we're back. I It loaded right back into the battle and I didn't have time to pause it, um, but we did defeat it. I know that I was being a little cheeky there and maybe that's the price I pay <laughs> of having it crash because I'm trying to be cheeky and have things happen. I didn't lose that much health that much time. It was kind of significantly easier to fight. I'm not sure exactly why, um, but I made sure to wipe out all the other stuff first before trying to take him down. I don't believe there is anything up out this way. That is the way that we came. Sorry you guys didn't get to see the entire full fight with him, um, but you'll get to see it later. <laughs> not the only time I fight that one. It's not only about you, Alice. Look at the destruction around you. Consider its cause. Then, come join me. I'm not sure... How that benefits me? Uh, maybe I can get to it from there. Okay, well let's go one way at a time, get up over that to get over there. We just know we would like to make it back this way and I think we can by going that direction. Let's just keep that in mind. head for now over this way. Ooh. I just like don't trust when I can't see it. It freaks me out so much. So a memory. Skin 
burn the fire. A scald of bustling looks wrinkled like a toadstool in winter. Oh, we got a little guy to fight in here. I didn't realize that I was stuck on the teapot. Be gone with your head. Anything else is in here? Nope. Okay, now we can loop all the way back around to continue in. Like the only good piece of Wonderland left, right? You are familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth. Adults assault children with that adage, usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. We have a new world change, a new outfit change, and that's where I'm going to call it. It's a bit of a shorter episode, um, but I figured because we had two coming out this week, that was fine. So in the next episode, we will be picking up <laughs> right here with a tired Alice. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! P.S. Get excited for Mario Mondays! Bye!